All right. Welcome to the Loosely Coupled Show. Uh, Derek and I decided to uh, start this kind of loosely podcast video chat kind of thing. Um, basically, our, our idea is um, just have chats and discussions, nothing too formal, um, around software architecture and design. And our idea is to target this to more towards intermediate and senior developers who are starting to get into architecture, um, recognize the need for it, and just need somewhere to to kind of get their hands dirty into maybe some more advanced topics or to learn about some more techniques. Um, and of course, this helps building more complex systems. So I think this will definitely help if you're building um, particularly complex systems uh, or your business domains are complex, maybe like the financial sector or whatever. Um, Derek, you want to talk about maybe some specific topics that we'll, we'll go on and cover in the future? Yeah, I think when we originally kind of were talking about this and getting this idea off the ground here was just that there's not very many user groups, at least in my area, your area, that um, kind of are tackling these subjects. Um, and even at conferences, for the most part, some of the bigger ones, you don't really get beyond uh, kind of the 101. Um, yeah. There are some great conferences that I've been to. Um, specifically around either messaging or domain-driven design. And again, so if we're talking about topics, those are kind of some of the things that I'm interested in, um, but even the things that I'm not aware of yet. Um, but things like domain-driven design, messaging, distributed systems, um, cloud tooling, where all of it fits in together. So those are the topics I think we're going to try to cover and some of the guests that we're going to have on the show to... Not the stuff necessarily that is always that we're interested, but that maybe is emerging, um, that we're unaware of, that we want insights in. So it's kind of a selfish thing a little bit um, that we can use this as a as a playground, if you will, to having these topics with various people in the industry and between you and I and whoever would like to uh, kind of join the discussion, basically. Yeah. So we've already recorded uh, our second episode. This is our first, but we've recorded it with Steve Smith. Um, and in that one, we... We kind of just take a look at like 101, what is architecture, um, who should be doing it, and what that looks like. Um, so we'll maybe just briefly introduce kind of our backgrounds. Um, I'll start. So I've been in the industry for a little over six years, um, doing .NET, pretty much .NET um, web development for my entire career. But I've done kind of every, everything from front end to back end to database stuff. Um, so I've, I've been in, in uh, some pretty big enterprise projects. I've done some smaller projects also. I've kind of, I've had the opportunity to be in working on like product projects. So, right, so our company built a product and we always are building code for this one product. Um, I've also worked in professional services where you're building stuff for third party clients. And usually in that, it's a lot of communication with business stakeholders and usually a lot of smaller projects. Um, so yeah, my, my expertise is mostly like in .NET backend. Um, it's, yeah, it's definitely in the architecture space in terms of structuring, um, like maybe, maybe you have systems with like multiple web applications that need to communicate with each other. Um, how do you how do you organize that? And even within a code base, how do you organize your code in a way that's easy for developers to find things? Um, and even you know when you get into a project, it's sometimes it's hard to know where when you're building a new feature or whatever um, where you need to put your code in the first place. So those are kind those kinds of things that interest me and I found really have impacted the companies I've worked for. And uh, you know, it's a little bit about myself. I think that's pretty relatable to most pro people that are probably interested in this. Um, yeah. So my background is I started in software kind of accidentally in the late 90s. Um, and then, so I, similar to you, I've worked in professional services, which I think is kind of that consulting space is probably the best thing I ever did for my career. 
um, because it got me involved in so many other industries. Uh, And then being able to relate different industries, things are so different between industries, but they're still very the same in some respects um, and some of the problems that they have. So um, I've been all over the map in terms of tech, but the single thread like you, I think that's how we probably came to follow each other on Twitter um, was through .NET. But I originally started out in a wonderful thing called Delphi which was Object Pascal and um, and then Perl and a bunch of languages that people probably don't use anymore. Um, but yeah, the kind of that mode right now, I work um, in a SaaS product um, in transportation, but I've done stuff in accounting as well as manufacturing and a bunch of different domains. And that's always been the kind of the the thread is just some interesting domains and different problems that I found interesting. And what really kicked off everything for me was probably, I don't know, at least like 10, 11, 12 years ago, was reading Eric Evans' Domain Driven Design book and then stumbling upon just a wide variety of things based on that. So those things interest me, obviously messaging, distributed systems, that whole whack load that kind of fits into DDD and where DDD has gone. Um, are those are the things I'm really interested in. But again, a lot of the stuff is now that I'm really interested in too, as well as um, where some of those concepts have gone in terms of tooling, infrastructure, um, related to messaging that I think is really interesting in like the AWS space and Azure and just cloud in general. So I'd like to kind of delve into that a little bit more. And then obviously the stuff that I know I don't know that is I'm really interested in as well. So hopefully we can reach out to some people and get some people on here that um, will all kind of spark that aha moment for maybe you kind of have a little bit of an idea about something and then somebody will give you a little seed that will kind of blow up into something that you really want to dig into more. So that's where I'm hoping this goes and we'll make it happen basically. Yeah. Yeah, and I think I think it'd be interesting eventually to maybe even have episodes where we can talk about some of the work we've done and some of the challenges we faced, or even, you know, maybe if we have uh, maybe particular scenarios that we can examine and be like, hey, maybe there would be different ways to approach that architecturally. And um, I think doing some of those practical things might help people too, to, especially I think with your experience in different industries, it'd be really interesting to hear kind of some of the differences, like you're saying, some of the differences, um, but also maybe, you know, what, what is the same, you know, what experiences, what experiences have you had where you've actually seen these principles or fundamentals that you can apply to all these different industries. So, I mean, yeah, it'd be great to explore those. And I think everyone who's definitely, you know, in the senior developer position uh, is going to benefit from, from these discussions. Yeah, so my comment, I guess, to whoever watches this is if you want to come on the show and talk, um, reach out to us on Twitter at Loosely Coupled Show. You can follow us there. Um, if you have a recommendation of something or a topic or something in specific that you'd like us to speak with, again, let us know there and take some feedback and hopefully we can, yeah, just get some more knowledge out there about more of this type of more complex topics uh, rather than just kind of 101 stuff. Obviously, some of the stuff may be considered 101, but it's more of an advanced 101, I think, in a lot of cases, because not you may do be talking about like messaging 101, but messaging isn't something that generally is um, 101 in ground floor level de- yeah. development. So maybe yep. architecture 101. All right. Thank you. All right. Thanks.